Continuing with Pi game, we are now going to add a background image. Let's look at the code we've got so far. Here we go. We got colors changing in the background instead of a background image. This guy moving. This guy will follow where I click with my cursor and play a laser sound. Uh, and we can escape by hitting Q or escape. And we also could take a screenshot by hitting space, which we will do here in a little bit. Let's look at our code. We're actually going to be removing a lot of the unnecessary code for this now. Uh, for example, since we're going to be adding a background image, we won't need all this if then with the R because we're not going to be changing the background color. But we'll do that in just a minute. Let's start by just loading a background image. I'll do that up here. And we're going to call it, I'll just call it BG for background. You can call it background or whatever you want. My game dot or my game, pi game dot image dot load. And we're going to load an image I've already set inside the same folder called background. That's actually background dot JPEG. And I'll actually exit out of this and I'll use image magic's display to show you that image. BG. So there's the image. It's of uh, my stuffed frogs. My, me and my wife have some stuffed frogs and they're eating some cereal bars here. So that's the image that we're going to use as a background. And uh, I'm going to add in here, uh, well, actually down here we'll add. Here we have our loop and we're blitting out stuff. We want to blit this first since it's going to be the background because as I've said in previous tutorials when we were doing images, the images you load first, you blit first to the screen will be in the background. The layers will be on the foreground. So we're going to screen. So we're going to blit to the screen. BG. And we are going to start it at 0, comma, 0 close both brackets. So that's saying that the top left of that image will be at the top left of the screen. So we'll run that now. And you can see we have that image in the background. You can still see the background changing to red in the background back to black and uh, because this image doesn't take up the whole screen. So we're going to fix that right now. So at this point, as I said, we can remove this line that says the R, because we don't, we aren't going to use that as the background anymore. We can also remove this and this, all these if thens for the for R, because that's changing the red background, and we're going to sit so we don't see that anymore. And we'll also change this fill. We'll change that back to black, which is whoops, to black, which is our variable set up here, which currently is set to black. So let's run the code again. So far, so good. The background's black. That takes out a lot of processing in the game. It doesn't have to go through all that figuring out R and changing the background color. Um, so at this point, as we saw, the screen, the image, background image doesn't go across the entire screen. Let's fix that now uh, by using the same transform uh, command we use down here. We'll just replace BG. Replace BG with pi game dot transform dot scale because that's what we're going to transform and bg is the uh, object we're going to be transforming and we'll just set it here to our variable of size which we state up here size equals 600 by 400 basically so coming back down here we just have to type in size here now if you wanted to put in a specific size remember you, you have to put it inside uh, other um, not brackets parentheses here so if you wanted it to be 200 by 200 you would do it like so but we don't need to do that because we're going to do it to the size of the screen which is our variable size that we've already set save this run this and now the image fits the entire screen and I can click here to move that tux to there. And at now I can hit spacebar. Didn't see anything happen, but we have spacebar set to take a screenshot, which we did in a previous tutorial. So now if I display uh, screenshot.png, you can see that I took that image I created 
and put it out to uh, save it to a file. So with our little tux there. So that's a fun little game you can make for kids or something. Or uh, one of the main reasons I'm learning a Pi game is for my Nokia N900 to create games and stuff for that. So you can take shots from your camera and superimpose stuff using Pi game and then export them to a file like so. So that's how we create a background uh, for our Pi game. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.